Here's another problem proposed by Catherine Kosak. It's an interesting application of a discrete probability distribution. You see, in this particular situation, we know that there's 60% of the business days that this uh, sporting goods store uh, grosses over $850. We'd like to consider the next 20 days and, th and think about the probability of how many of those days are going to uh, gross over $150 per day. So we'd like to begin by building a vector of there could be anywhere from zero up to 20 of those days that actually gross over $120. So we can vector can be created by looking at zero colon 20 and that builds a vector that starts at zero increments by one up until it gets to 20. The probability of success in this binomial distribution is 60%. There's some advantage in annotating your R scripts so that you can follow what they are later on and to clarify in your own mind what's happening. We of course know that n was 20, but I'm going to build that into my script here. I'm going to build an object n is 20. That's our sample size. Now we have all the pieces needed to uh, construct the, the probability distribution. Remember that the d-binome function will calculate the probability of any individual value. So let's have d-binome find the individual value for each one of the x's, 0 up to 20, in a that sample of size n with uh, the probability of 60%. So that and then let's let's just list this as a data frame. We've done that a lot of times before where we're showing the x and the prob um, next to it. That'll give us the probability distribution. So if we run that script, then here it is. Uh, you'll notice that it goes all the way from, from 0, an x value of 0, up to an x value of 20. So there's 21 rows in this distribution. Now notice as we go along here that some of these are really quite small. It begins to write all of these in, uh, in scientific notation because this decimal point is supposed to be moved eight places to the left. Running the script gives a result in uh, scientific notation. You see all of those values are in scientific notation. To adjust that, we need to reset some global settings in R. We can do that with by setting options, as I've done here, and setting that options uh, SIPAN to uh, 900. I don't think we need to say anything about the digits. Uh, then if we run the script, here we can see the full output after we've adjusted for with this uh, SIPAN to 999 that, that eliminates the problem of having uh, scientific notation. Um, you'll notice that if we rounded this off to four decimal places that a number of these would end up being zeros. What's this saying? It's saying that there's about a, a 15 or 16 percent chance that 11 of the 20 days that we're looking at will have a, a gross income of $850 or more. So we might want to know what's the probability of having 11 or more days with, uh, with $850 gross. So what we'd like to find right now is the probability of 11 or more of the 20 days that we're looking at with the gross income of uh, $850. So if we look at 1 minus p binome of 10, uh, n is 20 and p is 60%, then that's going to tell us the probability that of 11 or more. So let's run that script and see what we get. Let me run that script. We discover that there's a, a 75, almost 76% chance 
of 11 or more of the days having a gross income of $850 or more. Lots of applications of, of discrete probability distributions and in particular, in this case, a binomial probability distribution.